nandito tayo sa aming simbahan to begin uh, for those saints that are joining us today that may not have been with us the whole time, Amen. just to repeat a few things from the last few messages. We've been enjoying 2 Timothy 4, 7, and 8. And if you know the verses, please feel free to join me. I have fought the good fight. But how it differs. Okay? So, I think I can stand here. Okay, is that clear? Okay. Number two is to satisfy the requirements of the righteous God. Now, on this subjective side, it is satisfying the requirements of this victorious Christ. Number three, a righteousness is that as sinners, we are justified before God. Subjectively, we are saints who have been approved before Christ. Amen. Number four, praise the Lord, we're sinners saved by grace. Amen. But on the subjective side, we are believers, overcomers. Five, we receive judicial redemption. But... Amen. Cebu is very memorable to me. Uh, I studied late. Uh, I graduated at the age of 26. Then 
then the border, uh, like I mentioned, there's a two weeks training here, or two months training at the area member. That's, uh, I think Joel is with me during that time. Uh, I joined two, two, two months training here. And I remember Baritan at the end of, after his speaking, almost a night I cannot sleep, I cry. So, each one of us render our consecration. But I know we need to consecrate every day more. Uh, like yesterday, it was mentioned also about consecration. Yeah. We cannot, there's a saying, mostly in the South, printed at the church, no consecration, nothing follows. Nothing follow. So, in order for us to go on, <coughs> serve the Lord. Amen. For me, consecration is very important. Amen. I practice that every morning. Amen. After calling, we need the dispensing, and then also reconstitute, reconstitute, re, reconstitute our suffering. Amen. Because that's our strength in serving Him. Amen. Not only loving Him, but we give ourselves to Him. Amen. So, where Abraham called us to return to Him. I can secret myself. <laughs> Lord, I can secret myself. Amen. Not only to you, but to your body. Amen. I love you, Lord. Amen. 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 One step, invite us for the working ones. Amen. So I told him, we are open and we are ready. Amen. But we, we cannot come to Cebu. But still, to no, come. Amen. That's how I fellowship with Emmanuel, and still fellowship with Emmanuel. Now we're here. Amen. So, not only we have a meeting hall in Cebu, we are also you are also invited in your summits. Amen. You know we have a big meeting hall there. Amen. The capacity of this meeting will I think three times than we can accommodate. Amen. So not only we meet in Cebu, not only we meet in Manila, but also we are welcome. Osamis. We are yes. Um it is time I think it's the proper timing. Amen. This is what our brother Albert has been sharing to us. Amen. This is the proper timing of the Lord Amen. to break our alabaster. That's why yesterday, after a prayer, uh, everybody has a feeling to have a reconsecration. Amen. And we all did yesterday, right? And I hope that uh, we should always look into this matter of consecration. Amen. Because consecration is not just one time, it's a day. Amen. Go to the Lord. He said, Lord, I consecrate my hands. Yeah. You know, like every morning, we do our morning revival. He yeah. said, Lord, revive us every day. Yeah. Every time we go to our revival with the Lord, yeah. we all say, Lord, I again consecrate myself. Yeah. So anything we did was always true of fellowship. Yeah. Fellowship among the, the brothers among the body, it's not our own uh, decision, it's not our own mind of thoughts, it's just what the Lord has been speaking to us. Um, if you notice that uh, for the past uh, morning revivals we have, the Lord has always been speaking to us, right, because He wants us to reach the truth.
small bit to all. Okay, once you start serving, you cannot take it anymore. Thank you.